What is going on everybody? Today is another Strive for Five. We're trying to catch five bass. We're gonna do two hours today because it's right smack in the middle of the morning. It's 10.30, so it's kind of way too late for the morning bite and definitely not early enough for the afternoon bite. But we've got cloud cover and we've got wind. So we're hoping that we can catch some reaction bait fish. I've got a rig, big swim baits, small swim baits if we see some live scope fish, jig if I need a fish cover. And the deal is if we can catch five fish today, I owe little man a Slurpee. So if you want to stick around, see if he gets a Slurpee, let's go see if we can get him. It's a really good ambush area for these fish. There's that one, 50 feet. No, 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 no. Where are we at? There we are. Fish right in front of us. Can't tell if they're big or not. Easy if I need to do some sniping. I start here, and then I may go to jerk bait. I can't tell what they are though. Right in front of the boat though, so I might have already spooked him. Kind of like bluegillish. Fish in there pretty quick. Little, little tiny bass. And he's up. <laughs> he wasn't gonna count anyway. But, it's a good good example of uh, being able to decipher what you're looking at pretty quickly with a small little swim bait. Always, not doesn't always work, but it's pretty effective. She's ready to go. Freaking money maker right here. We're just gonna check in line here for a minute. Keep saying that, and I keep seeing a whole bunch of fish. Fish? Yeah, little fish. First cast on the locust. Is he a keeper cat? What do you think? Yeah, he'll keep. He's not going to be a whole lot of help. 141. We are on the board though. We are four fish away from the Slurpee. Cool. I was on a lipless, so maybe we can keep that going. There's a bunch of fish over here. Just kind of scattered out this little flat. It's like a little bolt, drops off pretty strong. And it's about 10 feet within, I don't know, 50 feet of each direction from here. So it's kind of a little flat here. There's some PVC trees. It's kind of been a full spot for me. Let's see if we can catch some bigger ones. I'm like a little bullfrog back here. What kind of thing? Man, he picked it up on the fall. Nice one. You want it? All right, fish boy's on it. Yeah, you do. And it counts towards your Slurpee, you need it. Come on, bring him over here, this way. Right, easy, easy, easy. Let him come out. Up, up, up. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Up, 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 nice thing. Go right over here. Come on, bring him over here. Come on. All right. Good job, buddy. Thank you. He was barely hooked. All right. Well, that's fish number two. Keeper number two. He hit it on the fall. Go ahead and set that down, buddy. Let's see. He's a little bit bigger than the other one. He may go two. But I don't. Uh, let's see. That's probably not very likely. Pound and three quarter, 1.74. Yeah, it's been like, I don't know. Maybe it's been 20 minutes. Come on. Nice fish. It's all right. All right. Three pounds. 3.15. So let's go throw that back over there again. I see a ton of fish on my scope over there uh, before my son crashes the boat into the shore. There's got to be something going on in reaction base today. Every, every weather condition. There he is. A little bit better. 
No, it's a little bit bigger. Can you get the net for me? Or are you gonna reel them in? Get some big old hood shakes. Try not to run them too hard. I want that rod right there. Where's he at? Line them in. He's way out there. Oh, there was two on there. Did you see that? Okay, get that fish. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There was two fish on that. And one came off and this one jumped. And this one is a giant. Holy smokes. There was two on there. I don't believe that. Did you see the second one? Yeah. Like once he jumped, the other one... The other one came off. He's huge. How heavy do you think he's going to be? We're definitely going to scale him. Yeah, we're going to weigh him for sure. Fish. That was... <laughs> nice fish, man. I would think he's a five. Let's see. Oh, come on. I was thinking easy five. That's a four and a halfer. But that is a nice fish. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at me drop it. <laughs> Look at me drop it. Nice. Nice fish. All right, so let me try to tell you exactly what happened here. Um, bomber cast. Hopefully you saw the cast. And uh, just as I started bringing it in, dong, real heavy, real heavy. But not really fighting, just heavy. And I'm reeling it in, and hopefully, I don't know if the chest camera got it at all, but the fish comes up, and there's a second one on it, and it shakes loose, so that one comes off. Oh, there was two on there. Luckily, the big one stayed on. That fish is four and a half pounds, uh, which is really nice. They caught a 4.1 on this same bait just a couple of days ago. And this thing has just been a fish catcher. This is a three quarter ounce sexy shad. Upgraded hooks, gotta have upgraded hooks on these things. I'll show you this fish in the live hole, then we gotta let her go, but nice. All right, so we're well on our way to our slurpee. We got three fish in the boat for 7.6 pounds. Thanks a lot to a four and a half pounder. Hopefully we can get a few more on that. I would have had, to, I would have had another keeper on that if it stayed hooked. Hopefully the video showed it, but it was really far away, but I doubt it. But I've never had two fish hooked on a lip, on a crankbait of any sort. So that was pretty neat. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Right, so it's been an hour. Yeah, we're just over an hour in. We've got three fish in the boat with a one big one. Uh, not bites, not any bites on this whole side over here, and it is all out of the wind. So hopefully we get a little bit more on windier side and uh, see if that produces a little bit more fish. But we're gonna kind of run through this area that's cover that's protected from the wind and uh, make sure there's nothing there. But there is some protected cover over here, so we're gonna fish that a little bit slower. See if we can get two more. Keep though. Whoa, keep that gets the skunk streak here for a minute, man. It's been real quiet. Four. Fish number four. About 45 minutes left, so I'm not too worried about it. But we need some bigger fish, man. We got a four and a half pounder and a bunch of dinks. Golly, 127. Wah, 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 wah. He is number four though. I'm one fish away from owning my son of Slurpee, so let's see if he gets it. Gavin! <laughs> Watched him eat it. Uh, he ain't gonna keep, but that was cool. I just swam it right by his face. Yes, sir. My, he's a monster. He's a pretty healthy looking little guy. 
three and a quarter Kitek deal. You know, people say to use like a straight tail fluke with one of these on a live scope. Have you ever tried that? I've not tried it yet. Let me know in the comments if you think that'll work better. I don't know. It's gonna be a crappie. Yeah. All right, we're down to 30 minutes. We still need one fish. We are back on the windy side though. Just caught that little crappie on a swim bait. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna get bit here on this flipless, some moving past moving bait here in the wind. It's way windier over here. It's even windier than it was earlier, I think. So uh, keep your faith. We got 30 minutes. Temperature is dropping pretty quickly. It's got a cold front coming through and we've got 15 minutes. So we are gonna hightail it down here. Uh, pretty much just just cast and retrieve. Uh, plug and chug, what do we call it? Chuck and wine, chuck and wine. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, get him in the net, get him in the net. <laughs> get away. Get away. That him? That's him. Keeper number five. Well, I should probably keep his head down. That'd be a good idea. He's coming in. He's coming in. So. And he is a dark man of jamma. Alright, well she's bleeding pretty good. Or she was. So we're gonna move along, but this is fish number five. And just barely too. 156. Man. Man, the sea of one pounders. That's ten and a half pounds. That's a good day here, man. All right, it's pretty obvious that the lipless absolutely dominated today. If you'd like to learn more about that type of bait, check out this video right here. It's definitely worth watching. We'll see you next time.